What's up, everybody? I'm back after a uh, five-hour, 15-minute show that we did last night. Epic. It's a great time for everyone who was here, everyone who was involved. Thank you. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, last night was pretty awesome. Uh, but I'm here today. Let's just do a quick video. I want to discuss my NFL comparison from Michael Clemens. Hey, what's up, mess, mess, mess? I'm just popping on real quick. I wanted to do a quick video. Uh, after last night's five and a half or almost five and a half hour marathon, I was, I was sitting here texting with a couple of my buddies and uh, we brought up Michael Clemens and how he's a psychopath. And I brought up in the chat, in the text group, that when I look at Michael Clemens, hey, what's up, Rusty? How you doing, buddy? Welcome, thanks for joining. Uh, just popping in, doing a short video. Michael Clemens, to me, could be a very good player in this league. He has a mentality. He has an ability. He has a mindset. And he's got the physique to be James Harrison. James Harrison was a psychopath. James Harrison was undrafted. James Harrison had no expectations. But nobody outworked James Harrison. James Harrison stepped on a football field and he had a mentality of, I'm going to destroy you. You hear it already in Michael Clemens's press conferences, right? I'm going to punch you in the mouth over and over again. I know he's had some issues off the field and JD has avoided those players. So I have 100% confidence in JD and his staff for making this pick. Uh, the guy's 6'5", he's 270, he's very muscular. He has an ability to really surprise people. Uh, I know in the marathon show last night, I think, I'm uh, pretty sure it came up at one point where I said between Martin, Curry, Huff, and Clemens, two of these guys might not make the team. You're not taking seven edge rushers. You're not keeping Lawson, Johnson, Huff, Curry, Clemens, JFM, that that's it. And uh, Lawson, Johnson, Martin, Huff, Clemens, Curry, JFM, that's seven. That You're not keeping seven edge rushers. I mean, JFM can move inside a little bit, but you're not keeping that many. You're not keeping 11, 12 guys on the active roster for the D-line. As much as we love these guys – you know, Martin or, or Huff may be put into a, a stand-up linebacker position if they really like the talent that much. Came in late, too, like Clemens, super senior. Yeah, yeah. Har Harrison came in late. He was uh, he was undrafted, like I said. Came in with a chip on his shoulder. Uh, you see that guy in the gym, and, and he was a monster. He was the strongest guy on the field. Nobody could out-hustle him. Nobody wanted it more than him. His desire to prove everybody wrong fueled his fire and i think when you look at how michael clemens is set up and and the things that he's been through and and the uh obstacles and the adversity that he's overcome i think that absolutely screams james harrison to me there's my buddy ray he was in the chat he's the one who got the comment from me james harrison i was like hear me out don't shoot me caps james harrison and I was like, oh, I'm going to go on real quick and do a show about this. So Ray was my inspiration. Our, our text chain it was the inspiration for this. I'm starting the bus now. Don't let Clem hit the... <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so that, that's my NFL comparison. Uh, I'm going to be popping on, doing some short videos, maybe about, about this topic, some uh, NFL comparisons of guys that I see, ones that I haven't seen yet. And I haven't seen James Harrison really uh, linked as a uh, Michael Clemens possibility. So, hey, let's hope that a guy drafted in the fifth round can succeed, do well for us, make the team. I want Joe Douglas and Salah making tough decisions. I want them cutting somebody that we don't expect to get cut because that means somebody took that job. And this whole entire organization is about competition, everybody doing well, outworking one another. And you can either rise with the water level or you can get cut and go somewhere else. So I love that we're finally having enough talent where there's competition. And it's not, oh, he's got to make the roster because there's no other options. 
So I'm rooting for Michael Clemens. I'm rooting for him to be a star. I think he could be a real, real big surprise to Jets fans. Keith, hello. How are you, buddy? Uh, just popped on for a quick video, man. I'm about to end. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, like it. Sign up for alerts. I'll be popping up all the time doing little videos like this. And then we'll still have our, our big shows on Friday night. I don't know how many are going to go from 10 p.m. till 3.15 in the morning, but it, that was definitely fun. And uh, thank you for everyone who was in the chat and contributed last night. You guys made it really enjoyable for us. It was a lot of laughs. I know it's a long show, and I don't expect anyone to watch it, but you can randomly skip through last night's video, and, and you're going to enjoy yourself. So thank you, everyone, for popping in. Uh, this is Nick for Proud New York Jets fans. As always, be loud, be proud New York Jets fans. Take care, guys. <laughs>